Hi, I'm Lee from the iPod Clinic. We are repair specialists for iPods, iPhones and other gadgets. And I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks for your iPods and iPhones. I'm going to show you how to customise your iPod Touch so that you can organise um, your app screens into several groups. Um, just in case you have too many app screens to manage. Basically, um, you can group them into uh, relevant groups. So we have a few game apps here. Um, and if you hold your finger on one of the apps, they'll start to wobble. And what you can do now is drag the app over to another app, and it will create a group with those two apps inside it. From that point, you can uh, change the name of the group. It will suggest um, a group name, but sometimes it's not very accurate. So we can call this Games, and then do Done. And then once we're happy that we've named that group, we can just press anywhere outside the group, and we've got now an icon with two separate icons in it called Games. And we can drag the other games now over into that group. And we can also move the group about. We can move that over to another screen, like this. And we can move stuff out of the group by going into the group and dragging the icon outside of the group and letting go. Um, and I've just put it into another group there. So if I drag that, drag that back out, and we'll move it just back onto the home screen. And if you press the circle button, then they'll stop wobbling and you'll be able to use your home screens again. The maximum amount of apps that you can have in a group is 12 um, anymore and they won't fit in so you'll have to create separate groups. You can also drag apps down to the static bar at the bottom which stays there whenever you move to a separate um, app screen. So if I move off Safari, I can now move on the camera if I prefer that to be in the static bar. And that's how to customise your iPod.